guys welcome back to my channel it's Chrissy here welcome if you are new don't forget to click that subscribe button down below so you can join the squad bring it on in okay and also turn your bells on if you want to be notified you have to turn them bells on sis don't interrupt don't be rude so you have to turn them bells on so you'll be notified y'all because I know some of y'all do not check y'all subscription y'all just be subscribing to people and you don't you, yeah, yeah, you get what I'm saying. Go ahead and turn that bell on so you will be notified every time I upload a video. I do want to give a shout out to everybody who is supporting my channel. Y'all, every time I'm trying to film a video, do an intro, an outro, my family be on 10 times 30, okay? So, y'all gonna have to excuse them once again, okay? Because every time your girl trying to film, it's a prop. <laughs> so, yeah, I just have this look, you guys. I just got it popping real quick. Like, put the glitter on there at the lip umbra, and we got it pop. So, if you guys want to see how I got this look, and you also want to do this look, keep on watching. Hey, y'all. So, I'm gonna just start off by using this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. And I'm going to just prime my lids with that. And I did take the sides of my eyeshadow so they can be, you know, more sleek and crisp looking. Y'all know how we do. So after you just going to make sure you pat that on in and just, you know, get it real smooth and good looking like that. You know, you just want it as smooth as possible so those eyeshadows, the eyeshadows. <laughs> So those eyeshadows can be looking blended and smooth on top of that. Okay, so yeah, let's get it real smooth. And then I'm going to go in with this Juvia's Place palette. I believe this is the Magic Mini palette. And I'm going to just take like that orange shade. I'm not even going to try to pronounce these names, y'all. So I'm going to take like this little orange shade. It's like my transition color. It's kind of like a little burnt orange looking shade. And that's going to be the first shade I'm going to pack on. So I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite palettes of all time and take like this Starbucks coffee type shade. <laughs> it's like a little tannish brown shade, you know, and then I'm gonna just put that pretty much in the crease area and just blend that transition shade with this shade. So next you're gonna just blend out all them colors you guys make sure you blend them all good and smooth and then we're going to go in with the same 3502 palette get this orangey type color and just build them colors back up um this color does look like the transition but it's actually darker you guys and then we're going to take another shade from there and i will have all the shades listed down below but this shade is like a brown type shade and then i'm going to take an even darker brown and just pack that all over the lid and so after I pretty much pack all of that over the lid, I'm gonna go in with these glitters from um, Flutter by Row. And I will leave all of their information down in the description box. And I'm gonna just pretty much pack this um, rose gold glitter type all over the lid. And um, I'm gonna pretty much do it in a, um, dang, I'm gonna pretty much do it in a way that I will be doing if I was cutting a crease or something. You know, basically we're gonna fake a cut crease today. 
so i gotta talk even louder because my ac just came on but yeah i'm just pretty much packing all of that glitter all over the lid in like the form of like a cut crease way i guess and you guys um if you are wondering what i'm doing it with i am using the nyx glitter primer and i did show you guys that and also don't forget i will list everything down below take this darker shade and this you know pack that on there so it can be like blended out and make sure all the edges are blended out and i'm just pretty much packing it all to the sides and i'm gonna go in with the black radiance liquid liner in the shade black and then next you're gonna see me go in with these materialistic lashes from pastel lashes i will leave my code down below and you guys this is my first time trying this elf foundation when i picked it up i kind of swatched it and it blended out on like my arm that's why i used like did the little swatch so you know as i was putting it on here you know it was kind of you know it blended out on my arm but it was a total hot mess as you can tell <laughs> and so i had went in to you know i didn't feel like uh wiping the whole foundation off and all that so i just went back in with like this maybelline foundation doing smooth in the shade coconut and i just you know uh blended it on top of there and it did blend out and then next i'm gonna go in with my nars concealer in the shade walnut and i'm gonna just blend it up under the eyelids and all that like all the areas that you always see me do After you blend out there, you're gonna go in with the Sasha Buttercup, baby. This is one of the oldies but goodies, okay? And we're just gonna pretty much just go ahead and blend that on out over that and you know put that uh conceal it all and set it all in place, okay. So you just make sure you blend all that powder away and then we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me. I believe this is the Fit Me in the color coconut, I believe. I don't know. I have it in the description box. And then I'm just gonna pretty much put that in all the spots that I like to contour. And then yeah, blend it on out. Yeah, so this will be my first time ever doing this. I'm going to go in with the Zulu palette and I'm going to take that brown shade and I'm just going to contour up my face with that. Um, this will be my first time ever doing this, you guys. So, yeah. I'm going to still go in with my black radiance and like contour my nose with that because I didn't want to use that. I didn't want to use this Zulu for my nose. I don't know how I was going to do it. I didn't want to mess up. So, yeah. I just pretty much just used it on my face. And um yeah, 
I'm gonna go in with that in this contour of my nose like I just told you guys. And I did learn this trick with the Zulu palette contouring that from an artist I was watching the live on uh, Instagram. And he was a dude, I wasn't, you know, following him, but I saw that he was going live, so I was like watching his stuff. And um, yeah, I probably did follow him afterwards, but I pretty much forgot like his information and name and all of that stuff. But yeah, he did this, so shout outs to him. I'm gonna blend it out with my foundation brush as always. And then next, I'm gonna go in with this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, you guys. I love this bronzer, it smells so good, and it just makes your skin pop and glow. It's naturally looking cute, okay? And then after I blend that out, I'm gonna go in with this new trick by going in with this second CD bronzer from uh, Maybelline, New York. And I saw this artist named Stephanie do this, and I will link her YouTube down below for you guys to go check her out, cause she's bomb. Um, she blended both of these together, and I don't think she contours, but I think she just bronzes up her face. And y'all, her face and her makeup just be popping. Like, go check her out for real. So yeah, I'ma go in with this CoverGirl translucent powder, and I believe it's in the shade medium. And I'ma just contour and sharpen. I said contour. I'ma just sharpen up my contour a little bit with a lot of bit. And then um yeah. Um, uh, make sure I just swipe that on off because, you know, I do not just sit there and let this stuff just sit on my face because your girl ain't trying to be looking cakey and ashy and all of that, okay? So I'm gonna just blend it on out. I'm gonna go in with Toasted Almond Blush from Black Radiance and just make that cheek color come on back in. Go in with this NYX highlighter. I will, I think it's in the color Synthetica, but I don't know. Don't quote me. You can just look down in the description box. And then I'm gonna go in with this powder, you guys. This is one of my holy grails right here. That's why it look like it's almost gone. It's from Black Radiance. It's in the shade Creamy Bronze. And then, yeah, just put that on all the parts that I naturally highlight on my face, you know. Like where I put the powder, pretty much. Just put that on there. And then I'm gonna go in with that shade and put that in my inner corner. And then, yeah, like we're gonna get that popping like yeah and then we're gonna go with this ruby kisses in the shade gingerbread and then outline our lips and then i'm gonna go in with this new lipstick from black radiance and just it's in the shade hollywood hot and it's really really pretty y'all and yeah i need to do a full black radiance face because baby your girl been showing some love to black radiance okay and i'm gonna also go in with their setting spray and top it on off I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big old thumbs up if you did. Comment your thoughts down below. Let me know that you're here. Let me know that you watched it. Let me just know.